Hey, what's good, family? In this video, I'm just going to be drawing turn lines. I'm going to keep it real simple, no edits or anything. It's recently come to my attention that there's a good amount of you that aren't really confident when it comes to drawing turn lines. And so, so I just wanted to make this video to kind of show you how I do it so that you can find your way and how you want to draw your turn lines in the future. Uh, also, just a quick side note to those of you wondering, yeah, why is this man got shades on or what's what's that little film behind his glasses? Uh, I just got back from the eye doctor, had my pupils dilated, so that's what's going on. But um, going here, looking at the charts, I'm on the one hour time frame just for this. And if I were to draw a trend line, probably look something like this. And because you know, look, looking right here, we're kind of respecting this trend line. Why did I draw this trend line? Because um, starting right here, when we got this move, came down, kind of tested it, went up, tested it again, came back up, and kind of tested it again. And this time it looks like we we're falling below. And this trend line is, was kind of holding as support. Now it looks like it kind of broke. Now, now, now it looks like it kind of broke, but this right here, this is a trend line for me. Drew it on the one hour. And, 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 and some things I want to point out is, yeah, uh, looking at these candles, we did cross the trend line, but we did not break or close below the trend line until we got over here to this candle, which shows hey, we could be experiencing a change in trend. So that is why I drew that one. Next, moving on to the next chart. Okay, you can actually see I already have a trend line here on Tesla. Going back to right here, Tesla came down, tested it once, twice, a third time, fourth time, and then bounced up. And you, as you can see, each time, Tesla's lows are kind of getting higher and their highs are getting higher. Its highs are getting higher as well. And as of right now, Tesla is respecting this trend line. And honestly, until Tesla comes back below this, I would be comfortable to ride calls, especially if I had them in the money. All right, going on. Next chart. So Palantir. All right, so right here, this is actually more of just just in this instant, this is more of just regular support and resistance. Trend lines can kind of act as support and resistance as well, but if I were to draw a trend line right here, it would probably look like just looking for a place to actually draw trend lines. I would draw it looking off here. You can see uh, after you really get this one right here or this one right here. It's like, all right, we have a trend line now and let's see if we break below. So we here, here, by this point, you could have drawn the trend line. Then it comes down, doesn't touch the trend line, but goes up, then makes one last touch on the trend line before running up. And, and, this, is, and, and this is a great time to actually introduce the concept of liquidity. So whenever you have support and resistance or trend lines or whatever, you can think of trend lines as support and resistance. Let's say there's, let's pretend there's a trend line to the upside too. Notice you have all these wicks of right here. You have sellers selling it off and buyers buying it up. You can think of any time a stock is trading in a range as it is building energy up for a larger move. And throughout this time, it's just trading in this channel. And then it made one last touch on this trend line. And it had all this energy from this move that it was just trading in this channel. And then it busted. And then, and then it busted out to the upside and pushed it to a new level, to a new range. And now it is currently trading in a new range. And I would put the bottom of that range to be about this 2688 level. All right, moving on to the next, Amazon. So Amazon appears to kind of have trend lines kind of like 
this. So if I were to draw a trend line on this, once again, the wigs don't pay, don't really hold as much importance. But looking at it, if I were drawing trend lines on Amazon, see Amazon trending up like this, or maybe even potentially, oh, that's not as pretty. I'm going to get rid of that. But Amazon's moving up like that. And then also we kind of have resistance up here or I would say more of this level right here. So all between this area right here, uh, we had kind of a fake out right here. And then Amazon is just building up for a move. They recently got some negative news, but honestly, they could break out to the upside break out to the downside. If they were to break out to the downside, there is a demand zone down here. Well, they already, they did kind of tap into this. All right, but they can, they can break up to the upside, break out to the downside. And yeah, that's what I would say about Amazon. Just notice they're trading in the channel and they are consolidating and charging up for a move. Next up, looking at NVIDIA. All right, I kind of drew one on NVIDIA today. It doesn't really look like it held up all that well. I would kind of adjust it. So looking at NVIDIA, here, actually, I can actually probably draw that out more. Okay, so looking at NVIDIA right now, NVIDIA came here. Oh, I also want to point out some an older range on NVIDIA. Where's it at? All right, so if we look at NVIDIA, you can kind of see NVIDIA. Here, maybe, let me find. You see NVIDIA kind of has something going on right here, as well as uh, maybe something going on like this on NVIDIA. NVIDIA is trading in this range then kind of came up, broke out, and now it's testing another trend line. And if you look at it, it kind of maybe trading, yeah, kind of maybe looking for another squeeze. All right, so NVIDIA has some trend lines going and this is how I would draw trend lines on NVIDIA. Uh, and I, I see NVIDIA is charging up. NVIDIA kind of ran up to 134 today, quickly sold off. That should let you know there's a lot of sellers there and that there is something going on in the, in the charts. All right, and then this one right here, it's, uh, Zap Electric Vehicle. Still hadn't got the chance to trade this, but this is trending up pretty strong if you try to draw a trend line on it. If I were trading strictly off this trend line, I would, my next entry, say this comes back, would be like $15 and hoping that it runs up, or I would wait for the break for, wait for the break of this for it to come back and retest some le level, or, or come back, retest a level, or for us to get some kind of pullback. And, you know, once we, get that pull back, grab some puts or something. And then I think I'm gonna wrap the video up right here, but I wanna show y'all an example of kind of what I just said. <clears throat> All right, so if we look at GME here, I'm gonna back out on the time frame. look at the four hour. All right, or maybe I'll drop down here. Let me get rid of this. It will drop back down to the one hour. Come back over here. All right, so if I were to draw a trend line here, you could do something like this, because came up, touch, come up, touch, and then it comes up again, we break. If you grab puts 
right here at the break at $50, comes down and finds support at about $33, and that is some money to be had right there. Then I think it may have done it again. Oh, it, it did have one more run. It kind of came up or it came, found support at 26, ran up. So if I once again came in and tried to draw some form of support, I probably would have drawn this trend line on a lower time frame. Let's see if I can even find where I just, okay. Trying to draw that support be kind of steep, but right here, if I drew a trend line on it, breaks around about $58 and then ends up selling off and find support once again around $28. So that was probably about 10 minutes of me just drawing trend, trend lines, explaining what I'm thinking, what I'm looking at, what I'm seeing. I explain liquidity. If you find videos like this to be helpful, hey, be sure to smash the like button. Let me know down below in the comments. I really, truly want to help you to become a better trader and see more what it is like for me when I'm trading. So yeah, uh, if you enjoyed the video, smash the like button. Uh, if you think anyone will benefit from this, share this with them. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Matthew Manuel signing off, and I want to change your life.